This is Sony's A7 IV Mark IV, the 61 megapixel beast which Sony is positioning as an alternative to a medium format camera with some justification because 61 megapixels in a full frame sensor has never been done before. Now you might think that's overkill. I personally might have thought it was overkill. I'm used to choosing a camera with between 20 and 30 megapixels for low light performance but what Sony says is that it has packed in 15 stops of dynamic range into this camera which it says gets rid of the risk that uh, low light performance will suffer uh, or you won't be able to recover detail from the shadows uh, with this camera. There's also IBIS uh, in the uh, uh, A7 IV, um, A7R Mark IV, uh, 5.5 stops. Sony's positioning is a professional camera, so it's 4,000 euro, 1,000 euro more than the A7R Mark III, but Sony reckons it's worth it. One of the other signature features that Sony is pitching here is what it calls pixel shift photos of up to 240 megapixels. So let's say you're on holidays and you see a magnificent alpine landscape and you want to get all those details in. That's what this feature is here for. It can take up to 16 individual shots and essentially combine them. Now, will that make absolutely enormous files on your computer? Probably, uh, but that's what Sony has packed into this camera. There are some Little differences, but important differences between this and the A7 or Mark III. So if you can see right here, the grip is definitely deeper in this camera. That's actually quite important for photographers, particularly professional photographers. The buttons on the back of it as well are also uh, more tactile. They press a little bit better. And that little joystick that you see there uh, is also a little bit bigger for controlling uh, things. Um, the camera is also slightly more robust in terms of its materials. So what Sony is definitely trying to do here is trying to position this as a professional tool for photographers and videographers, something that you can use in the rain that will last you uh, a couple of years and that isn't seen as an electronics item. So there would have been uh, a bias, particularly among Canon and Nikon photographers before, that Sony cameras are electronics items and not professional tools for photography. According to the presentation that we just got, Sony is boasting that it's number one in full frame camera sales in mirrorless and uh, the overall full frame uh, market. It also claims that its A7 III model uh, now represents a quarter, one in four of all new full frame uh, camera sales. So Sony, if you believe the company, is cleaning up in uh, full frame camera sales. Obviously, Canon and Nikon would say that their Z7, Z6, EOS or EOS or P models have done the business. And in fact, Canon has actually um, extended its lead in the overall camera market. But this is a very, very strong um, model from uh, Sony on paper anyway. I've been doing a little bit of testing, so I'll, I'll show you some of the results later on.